My heart goes out to, you know, anybody that's been victimized or their families. It's tough for me because like, I can't really speak on things that I never witnessed. You know what I'm saying? Because all these things happened after I left, basically. And Dan wasn't really on Keenan and Kel like that. I mean, he got it created by credit, but, you know, it was a different showrunner. So our worlds weren't really like overly, you know, overlapping like that outside of all that necessarily. And then all that negativity kind of started happening outside of like our tenure there, you know what I mean? So like, I wasn't really aware of a lot of it. Kenan Thompson addresses quiet on set allegations. It's supposed to be a safe place for kids. Kenan broke his silence on the toxic work environment allegations made in the bombshell documentary, Quiet on Set. Being on set is supposed to be a safe place. Thompson 45 told Tamron Hall during a Wednesday, March 27th appearance on her eponymous talk show. It's supposed to be a safe place for kids and to hear all about that is just like, how dare you? Although Thompson got his start on Nickelodeon in the 90s, he added that he never encountered any of the allegations made against TV show creator Dan Schneider during his tenure on the network. It's tough for me. I can't really speak on the things that I never witnessed. You know th what I'm saying? He said to Hall 53, because all these things happened after I left basically and Dan wasn't really on Kenan and Kel like that. Thompson explained that Dan 58, who worked on various Nickelodeon programming from 1994 to 2018, got creative credit on the first season of the series Thompson stared on alongside Kel Michelle. The show was a spin-off of all that, which Dan also created. However, Kenan and Kel was primarily run by another showrunner, Kim Bass, instead of Dan Schneider, who was focused on new seasons of all that. The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh Zoe 101 and more. Our worlds weren't really like overly overlapping like that outside of all that necessarily and all that negativity kind of started happening outside of our tenure there, Thompson shared. I wasn't aware of a lot of it but my heart goes out to anybody that's been victimized and their families. The actor noted that while it was emotional to watch the ID docuseries, he believes it's a good thing, it's out there and telling stories that need to be told for the sake of accountability. Quiet on set featured several former child stars and crew members opening up about their negative experiences about working for Nickelodeon. In the series, Drake Bell came forward about being sexually abused by dialogue coach Brian Peck, who was sentenced to 16 months in prison in 2004. It's definitely tough to watch because I have fond memories of that place and I have fond memories of my co-stars and stuff like that. Thompson emotionally admitted, so to hear that they have gone through terrible things like that, it's just really tough. While chatting with Thompson on her talk show on Wednesday, Hall shared that her team reached out to Dan Schneider and the production company about the allegations who claimed that they do investigate all the allegations, which led Thompson to retort, well, investigate more. Thompson then got his start on Nickelodeon in 1994 as he joined the cast of All That. In addition to being a main cast member on the children's sketch series, he also starred in his own sitcom Kenan and Kel from 1996 to 2000. Thompson left Nickelodeon in 2000 and joined the cast of Saturday Night Live in 2003. Nearly two decades later, Thompson returned to all that to guest star in season 10. In 2019, the following year, Thompson and Michelle 45 executive produced the series finale season.